Wow, we're all caught up. Travels with Jordy has traveled uh, all these months and we're back at the spot where we shot the opening sequence. Remember that pup? That was ages ago, like a minute. <laughs> The Blue Ridge Parkway and as well further north the Skyline Parkway which is what I'm driving on now really are amazing. They literally are a road across the ridge of a, of a mountain range that you know that drives halfway up through America. Also when I drove it it was early spring so as you could see there's no leaves on the trees yet which means the view is it's just unbelievable it's just miles and miles of these amazing views. I was also fortunate enough to be able to spend all my nights just at pull-offs. Um, met one or two rangers during the period I was there and they were perfectly fine with it. It was sort of off-season though. Anyway, an amazing experience. It took me about a week but it, uh, it was still a, a, a super way to travel. You know, I don't often rant, but when I do, I bought this GoPro Hero 3 thinking this was going to be the cat's ass. We're shooting video for this uh, this tour and to tell you the truth other than day one and two it's been nothing but a pile of shit um, the remote on the iPhone hardly ever works and if it does work it works for like five minutes and loses the signal so if the camera is say up on the top of the Argosy um, it's not much good to me because I have to keep stopping and rebooting the camera taking the battery back out of the back other than that even as a handheld it locks up all the time and you have to dump the battery out of it to get it to work again and uh, the last few days it's been giving me the no SD card grief um, which I could really just do without. I bought a new SD card, tried that, no problem. I thought maybe humidity had got into it so I you know, put it in an overnight bath of rice and well, that didn't help either. Well it actually did, it was fine this morning but then you know, five minutes into this trip it kind of given up again. So the GoPro gets a zero for me. Uh, not to mention the audio mic on it is terrible. You'll notice any of the footage that I've shot with the GoPro is just miserable. I had to do something about that anyway. So i got to figure out a different camera. And soon. Because I'm missing the good stuff. Cheers. Welcome back. The truck's been missing under load. And uh, I've been trying a f number of things to figure out what it is. I figured it was ignition, played with fuel. I changed uh, coil, spark plug wires, distributor cap. Uh, ignition module, all things that probably didn't hurt to be, you know, to be changed, but never went away. I thought, wow. I'll give you a clue as to why that might be, uh, might be a problem. Do you think after seeing that, maybe this could have been the culprit? So I've uh, gone to my handy dandy Walmart. This is the biggest Walmart I've ever seen. And, uh, $4.99 for a fram. Right diameter, but extra tall, but I can deal with that. Cheers. Well, I'm set up at the Green Belt National Park, 12 miles north of Washington, D.C. Really sweet spot. 12 miles. In fact, driving here was like driving downtown Washington. Nasty ring road stuff, but suddenly you take an exit and boom, you're in the forest. It's a great spot. I need power. Um, unfortunately, I arrived here with dead batteries, and I'm here for eight days to do some work, computer work that I really need to get done. So I need to start the generator, but right now it's really quiet. The only noise I can hear is some classical music coming from a couple of trailers over. So I'm going to set up the solar panels. I'm just going to lay them on the ground. That's the other job I have to do while I'm here. Get these bloody solar panels on the roof of the coach and start to make some power silently. But uh, in the meantime, let's do an unboxing. Well, I won't because I need two hands, but here are the solar panels. They're uh, uh, 18 feet long, flexible, and adhesive. They stick onto the roof, which is really, really, really cool. The first set that I ordered were the wrong ones. They're too wide and couldn't be cut. These ones are the correct ones. It was a pain in the butt to get them reshipped, believe me. Uh, and they can be cut at any one of these segments, which is what I have to do because I only have 14 feet of actual flat roof. and I'll have to cut it, solder the connections, and then uh, put the, the cut pieces in between. Anyway, There'll be a whole series on that. Right now, I just want to lay them out on the ground and make some juice. Cheers.